short answer is I just fell in love with it and I kept going. Did my postdoc and then got my faculty position here um, about five years ago. Um, started working with animal models. Um, I figured I was a great bench biochemist and really good at tissue culture, but I wanted to expand a bit and look at rhodopsin in the context of an, its, its cell and its tissue and its whole organism. So I made knock in mice and knock out mice and so I started working with my favorite protein ever, which is rhodopsin. It's the dim light photoreceptor. I um, got my PhD studying point mutations in it that cause its ligand to bind slowly and cause congenital stationary neck blindness, so a blind. I have a faculty position here about five years ago and I have been working in the Department of Vision Sciences ever since. And I'm kind of starting to rise through the ranks and things are going great. I have secondary appointments in neurobiology and cell biology and biochemistry and because my lab does all of those things. You know, I think science these days is not just straight up biochemistry, it's not straight up neurobiology. Um, we don't do catalytic boxes and you know, the calcium and kinetics in my lab. Although we do protein biochemistry, we also do cell biology. I have far more microscopes than any self-respecting biochemist would have. My lab now in, um, studies point mutations in that same protein that I've been studying for 20 years, um, rhodopsin, and it's um, we study we study rhodopsin mutations that cause mislocalization and blinding diseases, in particular retinitis pigmentosa. It's a devastating disease that causes patients to go completely blind just due to a single amino acid change. Sometimes a single atom change causes folks to go blind. We want to know why that happens, so we biochemistry, cell biology, we make animal models of it and figure out what's happening on a molecular level. But we also want to know just how rhodopsin is involved in rod cell formation. So we study the formation of rod cells and um, to that end it's all basic research. Just how things happen and why it happens. Science and technology. Very <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you.